stupid, stupid microphone not being on. I just recorded an entire video without it. Uh, trying again. This video is a response to Bud Newman. It's about VidCon 2011. VidCon 2011 marked the third year in a row that I've gone out of my personal geographic comfort zone and gone and met online friends in real life. The first year was Northwest YouTube Gathering 09. The second year was VidCon the first time. The third time was VidCon The Reckoning 2011. And, uh, and each time it's gotten progressively easier to say goodbye to friends. The first time we all got together, we realized that online relationships are exactly the same as in life relationships or whatever you want to call it. The people that live in your town, the online relationships are absolutely not different in any way, shape or form. It's just that, uh, you have to meet someone to realize that. And therefore with that new realization, it was much, 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 much harder to say goodbye because we all had this realization that, you know what, these are actually our friends and these are actually real life for legitimate friendships that our parents don't get. So there was a lot of crying at Northwest YouTube gathering, and by that I mean there was a lot of crying at the airports and at the end of the thing, and everything was just crying, 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 and we wanted to spend forever together, but you know what? We can't. And so after we got home from the Northwest YouTube gathering, we like, we were just much, much better friends, much different, much better friends. And then last year, VidCon 2010, it was just as hard, but it was harder for me because I didn't actually get to spend as much time as I did with them at Northwest YouTube gathering because I was volunteering my ass off to make sure that VidCon 2010 happened uh, in a realistic and flowing manner. So I was busting my butt to make sure it happened. And as a result, I didn't get to spend a lot of time with my friends. I got to meet a lot of new friends and make new friends with volunteers and a bunch of the other YouTubers, but didn't really uh, connect with the friends that I had. And so when Disneyland came, when we went to Disneyland at the end of the trip, it felt like time to relax. And it was hard to leave because I felt like I just wanted to spend more time with these people. For VidCon 2011, I made sure that I had some good significant time to spend with people. Also, there was less of my friends there, so it was easy to grab different groups of people and go out to the bar and just have a couple of drinks and have fun. Uh, and we also just didn't have to bust our ass nearly as hard in the evenings this year to make VidCon happen. So that was really awesome. Thank you Incredible for that, by the way. And so this year when everybody left, I didn't actually cry. I never felt an emotional response to leaving everyone this year until I got on the plane and realized that those people are really my friends. I made new friends this year and I connected with old ones, but I realized that that some people don't have friends and in fact myself have not had friends a lot in my life. And those people are really my friends and I will really genuinely miss them and I really, 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 really want to, you know, be super rich and be able to buy some house somewhere where all my friends can hang out. That of course is not going to happen, but that brought me to tears to think those people are really my friends and they really actually do care for me. Friends are good to have. And if you have a friend, you need to go tell them that they mean a lot to you. We all need to know that we all mean a lot to each other. Because it's easy at events to let each other know that we mean significant amounts to each other because we're only gonna be there for a couple of days. But the people that live in our lives every day, we can take for granted and that's a shame. So, my challenge, go up to a friend, give them a hug, walk away, don't tell them why. Then, a day later, tell them why. So they'll be thinking about it all day can be like brain crack for them. It'll be awesome. So speaking of your friends, my friend Todd Williams is actually in the King of the Web con contest. I usually don't do these contest votey things, but he is going to use the money to make a really, really awesome web series. He told me the concept at VidCon. I don't think I'm gonna share it here because I'm gonna screw it up. So you should go vote for him because he's gonna use all the money that he wins to do that. The link is in the description. He's awesome. He's also got some videos online. You may know him as Toddly00. Goodbye. Love you. See you next time. Bye-bye.